What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a camera view to your project. Now this can be helpful for rendering and just to get a view of what you're working on. So what you want to do is make sure you're on your level where you want the plan to go. So in this case I'm going to take a picture of my kitchen here and I'm going to be on first floor. Then you want to go to view, find 3D view, but click this down arrow here and then you'll find camera. Now you want to click where you want the camera to be. So click once and then you have to drag all the way through what you're taking a picture of. So in this case if I were to stop here it wouldn't even make it to this corner cabinet. So you need to drag all the way through. So usually in most cases if you're inside just drag all the way through your house just to make sure you get everything. Now this is kind of a bad view right here but we can move this these blue dots around get a little bit better view I can also go back to first floor and maybe move this camera back quite a bit and then right under here you will see under your 3D views you will see 3D view 1 and that is what I just did now as you can see you get a little bit better view now this also works for outside so if I want to take a picture of the outside of my house here I can go up to view once again click the down arrow, click camera, and then click wherever I want it, and I'm just going to drag quite far away. And now as you can see, I can move this box around, and that is a little bit better view. So now I can click on view, and then render, and it will add a camera shot view instead of rendering in like 3D mode. So there you go, you can see my little cabin here. Now you can also adjust the height of this, which can get you a lot of different and cool shots. So what you want to do is click here, click on this box here, and then you can scroll down here, and you can either mess with the eye elevation and target elevation, or you can move this 3D box here, which is probably easier, and you can get a, some different perspectives on a shot, shot. So if you want a more aerial view, you can move up, or if you want a under view, you can also do that. That is how to put a camera in your Revit project. If this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.